All right, so now we've got our handy dandy Dremel, our power cable here. So we're gonna go ahead and widen this out just a smidge. So we've got to cut out um, these little tiny brackets that used to be uh, holding in the, uh, the power for the old board. Um, and then we'll also get the inside one as well. Uh, and then kind of widen this up a little bit. So, um, just need to change my bits out for real quick. And here we go. got that taken out we'll kind of clean this up a little bit just to make it a little nice and neat inside there okay so now that we have that we can test to see if we get pretty close which we do so let's see if I can get that in frame so we are just right there um, in it so now we'll just uh, kind of widen the hole just a little bit we'll do little by little uh, so that way we don't overdo it um, because if you kind of overdo it, then you just make a, a giant hole and a giant mess. So and it's okay if you do. Um, it's going to be hot glued in there, and you kind of you can hot glue around it. So if you make it too big, that's fine. Either way, it'll still look nice. So we made it a little bit larger. We'll go ahead and clean up the hole a little bit. So it looks like it's a little crooked, but that's that's quite all right. So grab the USB cable here. Kind of set it where we think it's going to go. So it looks like we just need a little bit to the left so what I might also do is kinda trim this pillar down just a little bit um, kinda kinda get in the way a little bit of going further left into it so that's as far as it'll go so we'll go ahead and modify a little bit of the inside
Okay, so we made that kind of nice and flat inside. We'll go ahead and clean it up. Inside there. So let's get that going there. Oh yeah, that's looking much, much nicer inside there. So now, since we're pretty close, I'm just going to go ahead and hand do this guy a little bit. Just kind of give it some sort of guide. So we'll uh, give it another go. doesn't take much to get it up and going so clean up the hole a little bit and we'll line this guy up getting pretty close but just in case what I'll do is I'll uh, insert or try to insert so it looks like we need to go a little bit larger here. Um, so we know at least the male end will not fit yet. Still get there. We're gonna try and get the male end. Yep. Still no dice, so I'm gonna go all the way over to the definitive line here. You don't always have to run at full power on your uh, Dremel because there's just no point. You're only going through plastic. If you're going through hard metal things like that, then yeah, that, that would call for it. But uh, we'll go ahead and give this another test here. And uh, goes in, wiggles around, so that's, that's a good sign so far. So what we'll do is we'll uh, go ahead and click it into place and that looks pretty good so um, I'll go ahead and in the next video glue it up and I'll clean this up a little bit on the inside as well so yeah